Hi coloring friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm glad you came to join me and I hope you like what you see and maybe think about subscribing. Uh, today I thought it would be fun to sit and do kind of a color and chat. I am working on this page of wintry penguins and that is in the book the Christmas Mandala coloring book and that is put out by Jade Summer. So I already got started on it, kind of picked out my color palette that I wanted to use for it. Uh, in this I am using the Ohuhu um, alcohol markers. I got these new in November and I am really enjoying no, I'm sorry. I got them for Christmas. Uh, and I'm really enjoying using them. I do have to say they are quite a bit juicier than the Cali Art markers that I'm used to using. And then before that, I had a very budget uh, marker that I got off of Amazon. I believe the company was Spree. Um, S-P-R-E-E-Y. And um, a lot of those have started to dry up on me so uh so then I replaced those with the Cali Arts and then now I am kind of working my way into the Uhuhus because some of my Cali Arts including my black have gone dry now so uh but these have been a bit of an adjustment because well with alcohol markers in general uh, you know, they're juicier than a, a water-based marker. So when you're coloring, especially in paper, like in this book with the Amazon printed paper, it's very, very thin and you can easily have your marker bleed over the lines. Now, the nice thing about this page is there are some thicker lines in the line art and that gives you a little bit more of a barrier it makes it a little easier but even then I kind of when I'm coloring with an alcohol marker have to stop before I get to the line and the marker will kind of bleed and fill in the area itself for anyone who hasn't used an alcohol marker for those who have this is old news but uh, so yeah, it's a little, especially on this Amazon printed paper, it's a little, it adds a little bit more of a challenge when you're using this kind of marker, especially if they're juicier. Now the black isn't so bad, but that, the uh, purple that I have on the page here, that I, I was actually noticing tiny little spatters on the paper when I was coloring with it. So I really had to you know, almost back off and go to brushing it on the page because it's just so juicy. Um, and of course, with alcohol markers, you want to put a, just a throwaway sheet behind your page so that um, it doesn't ruin your next page in your book. Um, yeah, so I have that back there. And so I hope everyone is having a wonderful new year so far. It has been a little bit challenging at my house. My husband last week, uh, well, a little over a week ago, came down with COVID uh, just a few days into January. And um, he it, it has been going around his work. Just everybody, everybody there is getting it. So luckily for us, he had kind of been away and he works midnights. So uh, if he's working a lot and then he's coming home and sleeping during the day, there are days where we don't have a lot of contact with him anyway. Um, and that was the case in this stretch of time. So we had kind of already been separated from him when he came down with the symptoms and then once he was sick we stayed away and then of course I went to cleaning and sanitizing everything I could so that 
the rest of us didn't end up getting it. So, um, so far so good. He is better. He recovered very quickly. He was only down a very short period of time, only maybe three days where he really didn't feel good. And then after that, he was back up and at it. So, uh, luckily it, it seems like it was a very mild case for him and everyone else in the house has been okay. Knock on wood. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely thankful for that. However, uh, because he tested positive, I had to take a leave of absence from work for a while. Um, just company policy. So, so I am home getting lots of coloring done. Um, and I mean, I know it's the safest thing if, if that's what they determined to be the safest thing. I, I'm not going to argue with it at all. Uh, I do miss the income a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's going to make things a little tight for the next week, budget-wise, but we will make do, just make adjustments elsewhere. So it's going to be okay. I'm just really hoping nobody ends up coming down with it you know, at the last moment, and then I end up having to take another leave of absence. But we're trying to be very careful so that doesn't happen as careful as you can be. Uh, and if anybody's wondering, yes, um, my my kids who are old, old enough to be vaccinated already have been fully vaccinated. My youngest has not yet. We had trouble when they cleared the vaccination for kids, uh, finding a place in the area that has it going. I think they probably do now. I need to look into it again. But at the time, there was nowhere offering them for her. So she is not, but the rest of us are. And my husband and I are also uh, boosted. So, and now my older two are eligible to be boosted, so we need to look into that too, but, um, yeah, he was boosted and, you know, wearing a mask and all that, but I guess there's only so much you can do, and I think that's probably why he had such a mild case, though, so, um, yeah, so there's, there's that. But, yep, it's made for an interesting start to the new year. Um, I think we kind of figured eventually we were going to... Eventually, I think you're going to get it. There's just only so much you can do. But I think if you're going to get it, you want to get the mild kind. <laughs> so, luckily, I think that's what happened here. So... Um. Yeah, so I think that this page may end up being a two-part for me because what I'd like to do is get the marker work done here and continue with the pattern that I've started. And then for this area behind the penguins, I want to treat that as a background area, and I would like to make it... Um, sort of a Northern Lights color uh, palette in the center and, you know, have it kind of a blurry, blurred together colors in that way. Um, and I've been debating on how I want to do that on this paper because I, while I would really love to do like a watercolor effect in the center. I am afraid that this paper will not take it at all, even if I uh, apply a, uh, you know, prepare the page for paint. I'm just concerned, 
and I don't have a lot of experience with it, so I'm, I don't want to destroy it by giving it something it just can't handle. So I think I may end up doing like a chalk pastel background because I know the paper can handle that. A little over the line there. That's okay. So, yeah, this is a fun one because I actually started it on a day when it was snowing outside and my kids had a snow day. Well, they ended up having a virtual school day so that they didn't have to have a snow day. So they did all their classes online and uh, kind of had a shortened day, really. But that was nice because then they could be home and go outside and enjoy the snow a little bit. And sorry, my camera is being funny with the focusing today. I don't know what its deal is. It must not like the position it is in, but I apologize for that. But anyway, it was snowing outside and I enjoyed it from inside because I don't like going out in the snow uh, and colored some penguins. So... We got four, four or five inches, maybe. It wasn't terrible, and luckily it was very light, fluffy snow, which made shoveling the driveway very easy. Always like when that happens. And then, I'm trying to think, was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before we had just icy rain all day and it was a mess and cold and just not nice. Luckily we're not going anywhere. We weren't at the time because we we're still in the kind of stay at home phase of my husband's illness so we stayed in but yeah, that was not so pretty to enjoy from inside. Just a wet, miserable mess, especially when you have two dogs to let in and out. Um, and my one dog does not like the rain and doesn't like to go out and go to the bathroom in the rain. So... You really have to watch her while she's out and make sure she goes. And she likes it even less when it is um, icy. So, yeah, that didn't make for a fun time for sure. All right, I'm going to pause for just a second and see if I can get this to stop doing that autofocus thing. I will be right back with you. All right, hopefully that helps. I do apologize. I don't want to make anybody seasick while they're watching this. Um, I don't know what was going on there. I don't have a camera, so I do this f with my phone. Um, and I feel like some days it wants to cooperate and some days it doesn't. I don't know if it's just not quite the right angle or, um, you know, the lighting. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this, it is so juicy. You just barely touch the page and it fills in the color. So juicy. So it's going to look like a fuzzy scarf there because the bleed over is happening there. That's okay. I forgot myself for a second and pushed a little too hard. You just barely brush with this color and it... takes over. Let's see. I totally lost my train of thought, too. But anyway, so we have had snow. 
The kids did go out and play a little bit in it. I have two teenagers, so we're getting to the point where when the traditional things like that actually happen, I feel excited. <laughs> Yay, they're going out and playing in the snow still. Um, yep, because I know there's a limit to those days and it is coming quick. And I feel good because my youngest is, she is six years younger than my oldest. So, you know, she's still a kid. She still wants to go out and do all these things. And she doesn't want to do it by herself. She wants to do it with her siblings. And it's always nice when they do. Nice for her to get to be a kid and you know, hang out with your siblings. My older two are 18-ish months apart. So they, you know, grew up having a playmate. Um, and when my daughter, my youngest was very young, um, my middle child would play with her more often. And she had somebody, but it, it's still... You know, there's just that age separation and a lot of times she is with me or entertaining herself, which she's very good at. She has, she has the personality for, you know, handling, kind of being on her own. And she's, like I've said before, she's very artistic, so she just dives into whatever art project she feels in the mood to do and runs with it and she'll just spend you know an entire afternoon working on whatever that art medium she's into is for that day so she's great about that Okay, scarves and hats are complete. Our penguins are fully dressed now. So I'm going to move on to these. I am treating them like gems, and I think I will probably end up taking... Oh no, I went over. Ugh, the bleeding is real. It's happening. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> And maybe some of what I was just about to say will cover it up. I was thinking I will probably outline these in a silver gel pen just to give them a, a shiny effect um, and to cover up some of the bleed over that I am creating here. It can only help at this point. So... Yeah, and that'll just be, I think, for the ice and then the uh, diamond, diamonds, gems here. Um, I think I'll leave this area on the border without a uh, silver lining. Just, just keep it to the icy, icy parts in the middle. And then, like I said, I'm going to try to do, try, I have, I have a picture in my head of how I want it to look. And it's one of those things where if I actually make it happen, I will be shocked and amazed at myself. And if I don't, then I will just have to tell myself to try again next time. Or keep practicing. That's... Kind of how my coloring goes. Sometimes things look really good. And I'm happy with, with the way they turned out, at least for me, for my ability. And sometimes they just don't work out. <laughs> Although, despite the bleeding that goes on and the juiciness, I mean, there there's a positive to that too. I mean, for one thing, I don't, I have to put a lot of effort into, you know, getting the color to lay down on the paper. It's not like, uh, 
I, I always feel frustrated when I have a marker that's drying up and you, you're, you feel like you're just squeaking out the color. These are like, it's just almost like a paintbrush. Like you just brush it on. Um, and, uh, you don't get a lot of the, uh, marker lines because it is so, uh, pigmented and you really end up with a really beautiful, bold color. It's just like a solid color. And I just don't feel like you can get the same thing with a water-based marker. I know last year was the first time I had ever tried an alcohol marker. And, oh, it was just... It was an experience. I was like, oh, I'll never go back. Um, yeah, I really enjoy alcohol markers. They're so fun to color with. I've tried to practice a little bit with learning how to blend alcohol markers, um, with mixed results, it's going to take some more practice for sure for me and probably watching some more YouTube videos of people doing it to get the hang of it. That's really the best way I've found to learn in coloring is to watch other people do it and see what they're doing, which is nice. It's a wonderful resource to turn to, so... I've gotten a lot out of it for sure. All right, one more diamond here or gem. I guess it can't be a diamond if it's purple. Although maybe there's purple diamonds. I don't know. I know I've heard of, I think I've heard of other color diamonds. I'm not sure though. My daughter would probably be able to tell me she's my gem girl. She loves gems. She used to be all about sparkly. Everything she wore was sparkly. She's kind of stepped away from that a bit, but let's see. How do I want to attack this so I don't bleed into this one as well? There we go. A little better. Ooh, boy. So I'd love to hear if you're at all interested in sharing what you are working on coloring right now. If you're coloring along, I know I do that a lot with YouTube videos when I'm watching somebody color, um, not coloring the same exact thing they are or copying what they're doing, but just listening and coloring my own thing. And it's kind of like having a friend in the room that likes to do what you do and just sitting and doing it together. So a lot of times I'm coloring when I'm watching YouTube videos, especially uh, of other YouTubers coloring. So, so if you'd like to share, if you're coloring something, I'd love to hear about it. That's another thing I like about YouTube is you can really get exposed to different I mean, I've seen so many coloring books and uh, artists on YouTube that I never would have come across, you know, shopping on Amazon. There's so many that are uh, only available on Etsy, and it's just if you don't see or hear them mentioned in somebody else's video, you will never, you may never know about them. So it's it's nice to get exposed to what's out there that way. All right, so I think what I may do, so this doesn't get too, too long, is go ahead and do a speed up of finishing the marker work. 
and then I will probably in the next few days come out with a video on the completion of that background area behind the penguins because um, I'd like to work on that soon and get this page completed. I'm excited it comes out the way my mind is thinking of it. I think it's going to be really pretty. But that all depends on whether I can execute it properly. So we'll see. But regardless, it's been, this is a fun one to color. And I have a snow day memory attached to it. So that's nice too. Um, as for other videos coming up this month, I am in the process of working on my next Coloring Outside the Book episode. Um, it's kind of a cool one for winter, for uh, cozy winter nights. Kind of goes along with that a little bit. Um, putting a little light into the dark days. I'll give a teaser that way. Oh, that one's bleeding so badly. It's okay. It's okay. Um... Everyone goes out, out of the line sometime. It just happens. Um, so that'll be coming up in the next week or so. I have picked out the page I think I want to include in that. So I think it's going to be good. I have all the materials I need. Um, so I'm excited to come out with that one. I have the next color and chat to finish up this page coming up and I am considering doing a video on how I tackle the background for that octopus page, my whip that I want to get finished for the month in the Millie Marietta book. Um, so we'll see if I end up getting that done too. And then of course, at the end of the month, I will be sharing what I managed to complete for this month and uh, what I would like to work on next month. So those are all coming up in the works. Um, I've got a good start. This uh, little leave of absence from work is made for some good coloring time. So I've already got, I think, five pages complete for the month, five and a half, if you count this one. So I should have a lot to share by the end of the month. Um, so there's the, there's the silver lining to that cloud right there. Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and finish up this rest of the bit on the border here. And then I will be back to say to end the video.
Okay, so I think I have the marker work all finished and the little accents. I debated on doing the accents after I finished the background, but I decided I'm just going to go for it. And at this point, um, if I decide that the background is just not going to work, I can leave it like this. I think it does look finished enough that it's okay. So yeah, this was a fun one to do. Um, thanks so much for joining me today for listening and watching me complete this. I still would like to attempt the background. So stay tuned for another video where I chat and work on figuring out how to accomplish the background that I am envisioning in my mind. Um, hopefully I can get that worked out. I think it'll be really pretty. Even if I leave it like this, I like it. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.